obviously they you know, knocked down open shots. You know, what, what were some things you felt led to, uh, to the look? Well, I just think any time that we catch things in flow and we run up and down the floor and we catch the ball and good things are going to happen, I think Southeastern did a wonderful job of forcing their style of getting the ball inside and we had a hard time the first, say, seven or eight minutes of the game and then we were able to break it out by getting up and down the floor and running as hard as we possibly could and getting the ball to other people to make plays. And, you know, I mean, that was our best offense. I mean, when we get to, we got to standing around, we had the low where we were up by 20. They cut it to one eventually. We had four turnovers with 10 turnovers on the game, and we had four in, in four trips down the floor. We just kind of fell asleep at the wheel. Some of that was complacency. Um, Southeastern has a very, very good team. and. Uh, they did a great job of ta getting the ball inside to create problems. You know, we don't rebound the ball extremely well, but at the same time, one thing that was interesting is that they only had a, uh, 11 or 12 second chance points, and we had eight offensive rebounds ourselves, but uh, they didn't miss a ton of shots because they got it where they wanted it. But I was really pleased with our kids, and they did a nice job. In a game that... Um, at times I felt like we looked disinterested. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can't be disinterested. Coach um, Ladner does a tremendous job and you can't get disinterested in a game, especially when people are tacticianers like he is. And he was just going from A to B to C and they were getting easy shots. But I felt like the second half when we first came out, we got it rolling and then we just kind of, the wheels fell off. But then, we, then you get it to one and then all of a sudden it's up to 10. You mentioned Southeastern's success inside. Um, interior defense, is that still something that, I mean, you, you're not going to have the bodies, but, you know. It, well, I mean, I think that was a problem, but I think, too, uh, I think that they did a great job of staying within what they were trying to do. Cedric Jenkins did a great job of driving the ball to go and making things happen. And Upton and Uchi did a fabulous job using their bodies and doing the things. But it was all based off of what they were capable of doing and created real problems for us. You guys forced 23 turnovers. Um, you only had 10. So what what do you kind of attribute that to, especially when they are getting a lot of defensive boards, like you said, you're out-rebounded, but your turnovers? I just think that the reason our turnover not, well, I thought we were aggressive, and I thought we got to midline, and we were able to pick up the balls that were loose, and we got on the floor. There was four or five that we didn't get. For the most part, we were aggressive and went after the ball. And I think we had pretty good intensity in that area. It's just that at times, I felt like we were kind of sleepwalking. You um, almost half your points were three pointers tonight, which is amazing. I mean, they shot the ball tremendously well, but it, does that make you nervous a little bit also? Um half your points coming from three-pointers? Well, I mean, when they're the kind of three-pointers they were tonight, you're not ever nervous about those because they're in what you're trying to do. When, when you're, they're taken with hands in the faces or people falling back, but I just felt like that, you know, we, we stepped up and caught them in, in the flow of uh, whether it's a break or somebody drove and you go back to a play where there was two blocks, Jalen got it um, in one possession, two blocks all the way out nearly to half court, uh, past half court and Jalen comes up, drives and pitches three tops and he makes a three. That's a big deal because Jalen's not searching his shot or Zeke's not searching his shot. Somebody else is stepping up and making a shot. And that Matt Killian had a big three at the opening uh, half, and I thought that was big because it was in the flow of what we're doing. Tony Dobson ends up with a really nice game. Most of his stuff was in the flow. When, when we don't catch it in the flow, we're not nearly as effective, but when we caught it in the flow or in our cycles, we're breaking, and, and he made a couple really smart passes where he moved it back and it came back to him. He was able to get a shot. Even up Austin on Thursday, uh, obviously rebounding is always going to be key when you play them. But what, what are some other factors you feel like, especially going on the road this late? In the uh, we got to take care of the ball. I think that's a, that's the biggest thing, you know. And I think we will take care of it. I think that you know maybe I don't want to say the kids were looking ahead to them because this is a game. It's a real fear of a coach when you come into a game and you got another game looming that's two or three days out against a, a, a opponent that kids tend to look past that opponent and especially a worthy opponent like Southeastern you just can't look past them so we've got to take care of the basketball hopefully we can shoot the ball you know well if we shoot the ball well and we force them and contest their shots and do some nice things you know it'll, it'll really be it's a tough week though I mean we're playing three and five days uh, they're playing four and eight days what um not to look too far ahead but new 
New Orleans coming here on Saturday. Coach Schlesinger, I believe it's the first time he's been back. First back years. time back, and it'll be a, you know, it'll be a it'll be a rough game. I mean, you know, he's going to come in here, and that's going to be the most important game of the year because it'll be the, his next game, and it'll be our next game. But uh, you know, I know that he has a lot of pride, and we were fortunate enough to come back and get a win down there. And I'm sure that they'll be coming in here to try to take to get revenge. What uh, you keep a. a close contact with, with a lot of, of different coaches, but you know, do you have a special relationship with him, just him being on NSU? Well, I mean, he was with me for 11 years, and you know, special relationship, I have a lot of respect for what he does. He's, he's a very hard-nosed coach that, uh, that does a great job with the program. If you look at his kids physically, I mean, they just really look awesome because he's doing a great job in the weight room, and he has his program headed in the right direction. So it's a real challenge to play against somebody. All the coaches in this league are, are good, and he's one of the, one of the better ones.